Welcome back, you adrenaline junkies. Hello, everyone. We're back for more of the Isle of Man. Today, we're here to check out a piece from time, it looks like. The Isle of Man, the world's deadliest motorcycle race. And this is, again, courtesy of Losin. Thank you so much, Losin. These have been a ride, to say the least. And we're not even on the bikes. Yeah. No, thank you. I'll, I'll sit here and watch. It is very entertaining and heart palpitation palpitation inducing right and there have been some actual like shocks like oh god so i'm ready for some intenseness here i can only imagine what happens in this one um but this is based off i think this is going to be based off the time trials which is the first one that we saw Mm. so uh I also learned the last video we checked out, they did laps. It was, okay. it was laps. It wasn't just one go. I think someone said 24 laps total. Oh, my god! Right? No. Can you say death wish? No. I respect it. Absolutely respect it. It's called living your life. Um, but let's check this out. You ready? The official video will be down in the comments or in the description box below. See, this is your bit. This is it is. Do that. Well, we already put it on the headphones, so I got thrown off. Um, Our links are down there as well. Please don't forget to... Hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, So let's go. This one says the Isle of Men. Okay. So is it one or the other? My name's Connor Cullins, I'm 28, just, and uh, I race motorbikes for a living. The Isle of Man TT race is the oldest race in motorcycle history. It is considered to be the hardest and most daring racing still allowed. In 107 years of racing, there have been 242 deaths. Four deaths occurred this year. Wow. Oh. The roads are so narrow. Oh, man. He is like this far <laughs> off the ground. He's cutting the grass. <laughs> it's a street race. It's totally different to anything. The race on public roads, on super bikes with more than 200 brake horsepower. Big sticky fat tires on them. And it's uh, it's the best race on the planet. And uh, it holds a big strong place in my heart. Riders complete six laps throughout the race, with each lap measuring 37.5 miles in length. With over 300 turns, competitors race at breakneck speeds, averaging 130 miles per hour. Looks like a beautiful drive. Quite soon. There's no... I suppose that you could say there's a little bit of fear, but, like, that's... To me, I think I see that as a good thing. It settles you when you're riding. You know, you're riding hard, and you, there's a line you sort of you don't cross. You know, and I think that fear sort of controls that a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong. It doesn't have to. You know, obviously with the danger side of it, you can be hurt and and worse. Let's be realistic here. You know, it, you know, there's been some severe things that happen. You know, and um, sometimes it doesn't have to be the individual's fault. You know. Oh shit. Oh. oh my fucking. Ooh. Was that person okay? Well, I yeah, 20 Was that him? A, a big smash uh, at the veranda on the on the mountain road. 
on the TT course. Oh. I lost the front end at 150 yeah. miles an hour. Ended up going over down, you know, over a hillside and uh, cartwheeling down a hill. Did he hit the wall Bounce. right there? It looked like he, or just before it, course. man. I lost the front end at 150 plus mile an hour. Ended up going over down, you know, over a hillside. Yeah, and, like uh, the top of the stone wall right there. Dang. And uh, yeah, next thing I knew, I was in hospital with uh, a broken back, a uh, dislocated knee, um, and a bust arm. You know, it's it's pretty horrendous, but that was that. And this is now, you know, it's all it's all behind me. And, um, something I'm, uh, I've, I've forgotten about really. And you know, it's took a lot of getting back from, to be honest. It's um, took a lot of strength, physically and mentally, to get through it. And hopefully, I'll start seeing the fruits of my labors. But how do you continue to go, like, in that area? Do you not get, like, this general sense of PTSD? Like, oh, man, we're in that spot again. <laughs> As someone who's been in a car accident, that is how I feel when I go to that spot. I can't imagine just being like, no, 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 this is fine. Right? Just chill. Just... Of course, in that instance, it was his bike. And so, but you never know. Ugh. That's intense. It would make my tummy turn for sure. <laughs> I'll start seeing the fruits of my labors. Now we'll see. I'm on the best bike in the grid. I feel all right. <laughs> uh, all I do, I don't get carried away with predictions or anything like that or any of that old nonsense. It's just whatever I'm feeling on the day, if I feel good, you know, I'll push because my bike's good. The Honda Fireblade is, is a brilliant bit of kit. And, uh, you know, I'd love to do myself and the team justice by getting a good result tomorrow, you know, and there'll be no one trying as hard as I am. Needs no build up from me. Here we go. The Poker Stars Senior TT, the big, big race of the week. One minute less than 55 seconds to go as the top boys are now paddling these uh, magnificent machines towards the start line on Glen Crutchley Road. Can't even imagine the level of anxiety of even just getting Ooh, next away. Up there Number doing 10. That. 10 is Connor Cummins. The Ramsey rocket is launched down towards Spray Hill on the Honda. Six laps of the mountain course, 226.38 miles ahead. And Connor Cummins is on Glen Crutchery Road now, so we'll just see if Connor slots into second place. You can see all the BMW boys about to greet their charge. There is Connor Cummins slowing up. Connor is in second, 14 seconds down. Throughout a grueling race, the airborne Connor right Cummins now? Yeah. battled for first place against Michael Dunlop. Despite a neck and neck race, Connor comes in second. No one's forcing anyone to do this race at all. No one's forcing me to do it. I want to do it. I'm fully aware of what goes on. It's down to me. Everyone else is the same. There's not one man in that paddock who's signed up because they have to. It's because they want to. No, it's close. Simple as that. Right. No, at the end of the day... And how fast they're stopped, going? Uh -huh. I've stopped enjoying it. If, if I wasn't enjoying my racing, then this place is not the place to be riding a motorbike, you know. Clearly. All I could probably say is, you know, they were doing something that they, they loved, riding a motorbike and enjoying themselves, you know. You know, it's very easy for me to sit here and say that. I, I wouldn't like to be in anyone's position who, who's grieving right now, you know. Um, but hopefully they would take some kind of comfort in the fact that they were enjoying themselves and you know doing doing something they wanted to do. Right. And you die doing something you love. Like... Yeah. And then you probably went out exactly the way you wanted to.
Wow, man. It's fascinating watching them, like those last two guys in first and second place, watching them navigate. I grew up watching NASCAR, so that's just going around in a loop. And passing was nothing like special. But the fact that they have to make sure they're not cutting this other person off, it almost seems like they have a lot of respect for the other riders as well. How could you not? Or you would have to, right. They're just as crazy as you out there in one of the in the deadliest motorcycle race. I mean But trying to figure out how to pass in those crazy areas without causing yourself to wreck or causing the other person to wreck, that would be a lot. That would be nerve wracking. Just mm-hmm. that part. That's mm-hmm. just one little part. Whew. I really like Connor. I uh, do too. I'm also going to say that dude has massive balls Uh, because to to get in a wreck that gnarly because that was just wild. And then to just keep going and doing it over and over again. I admire the hell out of him for that. Um, And also the the way he's like, hey, you know, I'm doing this because I want to be doing it. And you just got to move on and forget about it. That was then. This is now. Yeah, I really liked his attitude. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Man, I wonder if if he still does it. I don't know. He only got second place during that one. What year was this? 2014? Only second place. Only second place, right? I got zero place on that one. I wouldn't, yeah. But 10 years later, I am curious where, where he's at. Right. I was thinking the same thing. Let us know if you know in the comment section below. I'm sure you will. (laughs) We appreciate you all. We're happy that you're here. This has been a lot of fun. It has been. It's been something different, something new. Uh, Yeah. Thank you, Losin. Thank you so much, Losin. Yes. I was going to say that. (laughs) And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye. Goodbye.